Just ha let it hang out there for a second, uh, John Cratley, is when? When do you think those, uh, are they, is that happening anytime soon? Mr. Previn, the rules yes, of any government body when you have public testimony is you, you don't address any member of the body directly. Oh, no, okay, no response this, it's not a question and answer issue. Okay. Say, say your piece and, and uh, yeah. I mean, no response is required, uh, as we've heard in numerous okay. uh, letters, but the the public is curious as to when, because I think it's a very sensible program. Just to refresh your memory, a camera on me, which was like a wall camera, doesn't see that Supervisor Antonovich and Supervisor Ridley Thomas are in discussion with others. Molina's out. Supervisor Canavi is looking at his computer. But so, you know, the point being, if an officer was wearing a camera, no, you're entitled to, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I respect you, but the point is, is that if there's an interaction between deputies who we respect and you know and revere, frankly, and a guy who's a little out of control, perhaps, we want both sides of that equation to be kind of protected. So, I mean, that was the real substance of my question. The other, the other, for somebody, just keep keep speaking. They'll fix it. Okay, uh, but the the other minor note is uh, super uh, CEO Fujioka promised to uh, get into the uh, the question of reducing the length of time that deputies do serve uh, in custody, in the custody division. And I was wondering uh, if there has been an update on that, sir. Have you had any luck with As it? I said to you, Mr. Previn, this okay. is not a question and answer situation. You address the, your comments to the chair. Okay, and I'll, I'll wrap it up in 10 seconds. I just want to say this, though. Yeah. To, to be honest, it is an opportunity to raise questions. It's not an opportunity for you all to respond. We've seen that. But it, it, it could be if you choose to, but you don't have to. But I think it is appropriate to ask questions. I mean, come on. Let's, let's agree that that's inappropriate. It's appropriate to ask questions, but you address it to the chair, not to any member of the staff or any member of the board. Thank you very much. Your time, thank you for adhering to the time. You're welcome, sir. Uh, uh, we have one more question, uh, one more member of the public in Lancaster. Uh, Minjuolo Perez. Oh, okay, apparently she's no longer there. Okay, Mr. Ridley Thomas. Mr. Chair, there's a mistaken assumption that's being made that these opportunities are occasions for negotiation. Um, and uh, I respect the chair's attempt to help people more clearly understand what uh, we are attempting to do and to accommodate uh, uh, their opportunity, indeed their right to be heard. Uh, I think it has to be reasserted that all of us have to abide by a set of rules. It isn't just simply the case that any one of us can talk whenever we wish to be heard, but we have to acknowledge and go through the chair. The chair governs the media and, media and try to keep it orderly. And so it seems to me that there's a basic kind of sense of uh, respect for uh, trying to keep the meetings in order. And these uh, repeated efforts to negotiate and renegotiate, I, I suspect, uh, need to be, uh, you know, appropriately arrested or curtailed. They're getting tired, to put it mildly. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Uh, 